Calm Man Cocktails. I'm Derek and today we're going to look at the Rum Runner. This recipe dates itself to probably the 1950s at the Holiday Isle Tiki Bar in Isla Morada. Mm, that's in Florida. Not sure if I'm saying it right, any of that, but whatever. The recipe has been highly requested over the last couple weeks, probably because it's summertime. We did the Blue Hawaiian link right up there for our Bartending 101 videos. This is going to be another quick one that's going to go through the Rum Runner. The concept is you take the, apparently the bar had a lot of rum and it was a surplus of rum, so they needed to make a cocktail with it and they threw it all together and boom, here we go. The recipe ingredients, since it's one of those throw together, they're all one ounces except for our grenadine, just a splash for color. We're talking one ounce of pineapple juice, one ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice, they probably didn't, but I do, you should. One ounce of a blackberry liqueur, Chambord would work. I'm using Raspberry D'Amour because it's the, the closest thing I have right now and, and it fits the premise of the, this concept of throwing everything together. Uh, for a, a banana liqueur, I don't have any of the cheaper banana liqueurs. If you take sugar and rum and banana and put them together, it makes a liqueur. Uh, we're gonna do Blue Chair Bay, Blue Chair Bay Premium Blend Banana Rum. We're gonna do for one ounce of aged rum, we're gonna use Crusion Aged Rum. One ounce of light rum, we're going to use Plantation Three Star, yummy. We're gonna shake that up. We're gonna throw it in a nice Collins glass, make a little sexy orange slice on it, and we'll be done. Let's roll. Typically when you're building a cocktail, you're supposed to start with the cheapest ingredients first. That way if you make a mistake, you can fix it. Some people go the opposite route. So there's no real solution. There's no like bartending 101. If you don't do this, you're gonna be fired type of thing. But let's just do uh, juices first. Fresh squeezed OJ. Also, before I forget, and it's early enough in the video, you're still paying attention. Comment Cocktails t-shirts. I'm ready to start printing them. I've got a guy who's gonna print them in his garage for me, and it's gonna be awesome. If you'd like to pick up one of our Awesome Drinks t-shirts, you can pre-order them at awesomedrinks.com uh, slash CMC or click the link below, and that will get you to the t-shirts. Actually, slash same seal will get you to everything. I really just want the pre-order mainly so I can figure out what kind of sizes people are into. Otherwise, I'm a medium, so I usually just order mediums for everything. I'm just going to splash a little grenadine right away. Get some color going. This is BG Reynolds, also available at awesomedrakes.com. So while you're pre-ordering the shirt, you can pick up that. You can also pick up our new bartending kit that I put out. I have a CMC bundled kit with the CMC cocktail shaker that we're using right here and some bitters, and it's it's a huge discount. I'm doing it because I want to move some bitters and sell some of these shakers that everybody told me they wanted. Jesus. Everybody told me they wanted some of these CMC shakers that I have. I got them in stock and nobody bought any. I don't know what the point of the grenadine is considering this just changes the color game all over the place. One ounce. Everything's one ounce, remember that. I have a video on how to measure from our uh, channel, The Craft Cocktail. You can check that channel out on YouTube. Um, I'll just link right to the craft. No, I'm gonna link right to the video for uh, the measuring. And while you're there, you can subscribe. Aged rum. Hey, guess what? One ounce of light rum. Let's add some ice to these guys. I'm gonna go two ice on the glass. This is a Chicago highball. Only because I feel like this is a big volume as drink. And it's going to lend itself, you're adding 20% a dilution. You're going to end up with probably two servings out of this if you use a Chicago highball. Shake this up. Again, the craft cocktail if you want to learn a little bit about how to use a Boston shaker appropriately. Give it a good 10 second shake. Rum runner coming up. And you're going to get some nice foamy head from that, uh, that pineapple juice too. Fortunately, it might, co might come in the back end. Oh, look at this. It's one serving in this glass, plus foamy head. Straw it, and garnish it. <laughs> I like to go extreme. You can totally do this with a half, a half a slice of orange. You're gonna find tons of different recipe variations for this, all of which typically have some level of rum in them. Some of them call for blended, which is it was a travesty. Some you can float if you want to. In this, you can float some 151. Mm. Tastes like a like a raspberry candy with a little banana center to it. It's sweet, but you know what? It's potent. I can taste the alcohol. I can't taste the ethanol, but I can taste the danger. And it's the danger that's going to get you in trouble with a rum runner. This is this fits into your tiki theme parties. This is the type of time when you're looking at this drink right here, rum runner. Put your keys in a basket. Don't plan on going anywhere. 
Don't forget to go to awesomedrakes.com and check out our bundles. I'm going to put a link right over here so you can click right on Awesome Drakes. It's going to send you to a link that's probably going to be the CMC uh, t-shirt or something that it's, it's, you just click it. Um, after you click that, there's another video up here, which will go to our bartending 101 playlists that are all short, fast, and awesome cocktails that you should have, specifically right now, summertime based. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink.